Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil, your Tutepad instructor. And in this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna create a really cool grunge effect in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's hop in and get started pretty quick. All right, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition. This is gonna be our main comp. So let's rename this to main. And the resolution is gonna be 1920 into 1080, 30 frames and 10 seconds should be good enough and hit OK. And here I have some textures that I selected for this project and these textures will be provided to you guys so you don't need to worry about it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is create a new solid. So let's hit Control Y to create a new solid. Let's rename this to FX. You can rename it to anything that you want and make sure it's comp size and hit OK. And the first effect that I'm gonna add is a circle effect. There we go and basically I'm just going to animate the radius of the circle now. Of course you can also use mask or shape layers to do it but you know the fractal noise which we're going to be adding further on works pretty good with circle instead of shape layers. So the first thing that I'm going to do. Alright so let's set this to zero. Create a keyframe on the radius go to around let's say one second 15 frames maybe and set this around somewhere around here okay so now we have a pretty basic animation which looks something like that maybe I'll make it two seconds let's keep it somewhere around there okay pretty good then I'm gonna add an effect called rough and edges so let's add it so now you can see we have some really rough edges on the circle so let's go and you know tweak some settings in the rough and edges. So the first thing that I'm going to do is increase the border. So I'm going to make it really crazy to around. Let's make it something like maybe around 200. Let's go with 200. So that is as you can see started to look really really nice. Maybe I'll increase the edge sharpness a bit to around 2. Okay, everything looks pretty good. And let's scale this up a bit to maybe around. Let's go with something like something like this. Okay, this is looking pretty good actually. Maybe a bit low somewhere around there. Okay. Pretty good. We can tweak on the settings later on as well. Maybe I'll increase the complexity a bit. Maybe around. Let's keep it 3. Okay, this is looking really nice. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and add an effect called Turbulent Displace. And now it's basically going to displace the shape a bit, giving it a more natural look to it. So let's change the displacement type from Turbulence to Turbulence Smoother. And let's play around with the amount a bit. So maybe I'll just increase this maybe somewhere around there. So we have some really crazy looking effect as you can see we will increase the scale of the rough and edges a bit more somewhere around 300 let's see yep this is looking actually pretty good maybe we'll decrease the amount a bit low somewhere around there and play around with the size maybe we'll bring this down somewhere around there maybe 23 let's see okay so this is looking actually pretty good we'll increase the complexity to around let's go with three Let's see how it looks. Yup, now it started to look really, really nice. You can also set the anti-aliasing to best quality. You can set this to high, but in this case, we don't need to set this to high. So I'm going to just leave it to low. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm, I want this animation to keep on animating just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to zero and hold alt and click on the stopwatch of evolution and type in an expression called time into maybe let's go with 200 so let's see what we have yep that looks pretty good to me as you can see the animation is looking pretty good and you can always tweak it later on as well so you are pretty happy with this so now what we can do is go into the project panel and drag in a texture called painted texture. Just drag it below the effects layer and change the track mat of the painted texture to alpha mat. So now we have 
something like that so now so I'll just scale this up a bit okay so that is looking pretty good actually see really happy with that and now one more thing that I'm gonna do is create a new adjustment layer let's rename this to oh make sure it's on the top so let's create a new adjustment layer let's rename this to color and what I can do is add some fractal noise to this so let's type in fractal noise so now we have something like that let's change the fractal type from basic to small bumps and change the noise type from soft linear or maybe I'll just leave it to soft linear that looks pretty good actually maybe we can play around with the contrast a bit so maybe somewhere around let's go with somewhere like maybe around 60 something like that let's bring down the complexity a bit to let's go with maybe 3 and maybe just play around with some evolution as well and I'm gonna bring down the opacity down to around 30 okay so now we have a little bit of fractal noise on our texture and then go ahead and add CC toner CC toner something like that and I'm gonna leave it to Triton but you can obviously select from different dual tone or pen tone as well so I'm gonna change the highlight to something like a really nice kind of orange texture maybe and just set this to kind of a red texture something like that let's play around with this effect maybe I'll just set this to lighter red or maybe something like yellow trying to make it as grungy as possible as you can see it looks really really nice maybe I'll increase the highlights make it a bit darker something like that okay so this is looking actually pretty good so now what I can do is I can just pre-comp this effect so let's pre-comp it call this effects underscore 01 and hit OK so now we have our first grunt animation ready maybe I'll tweak this color a bit I'm not really happy with this so let's maybe make it kind of a orange color and make it something more darker red kind of thing okay pretty good and what I can do is go into the main comp and let's type in anything you can also use a logo as well but I'm going to just use a text so let's create a new text let's call this text hit OK and you can of course type in anything that you want I'm going to type in the grunge look just like we did in the example hit control D to duplicate it let's type in grunge duplicate it and just drag it up just like that and just call this look and let's select a really nice font for this so let's maybe I'll just go with okay this looks pretty good to me let's place it let's maybe in increase the size a bit Let's place it in the position that we want something like that there we go and then what I can do is just bring the text layer above the effects layer and change the effects layer track mat to alpha mat so now you can see the text is getting revealed through the grunge texture pretty simple and easy to do let's add a pretty quick background so I'm going to use the paper texture for the background which looks really really nice as you can see we will do a little bit of CC on this so let's bring on the grunginess a bit let's increase the reds a bit let's bring down the green a bit and also the blues something like that okay so this is looking pretty good actually maybe it's too red too much of red yeah pretty nice so basically what I can do is I can move this effects freely anywhere that I want so the grunge look is gonna get started from a different direction just like that and that's what I'm going for something like that and then what I can do is go into the project panel and duplicate the effects one so hit ctrl D so we have the effects 2 
Open this up and change the texture, the painted texture with a different texture. Maybe I'll use, I'll use it, I'll keep it the same texture. And basically we can do some different changes in this. So you can just play around with this. Maybe I'll change the border width a bit. So play around with that sharpness or influence maybe. Something like that. Something like that. Just trying to make it a different look, you know. Maybe I'll just... Let's keep it to something like a yellow color and this one to blue maybe. I'll make it blue as well. Okay, looking pretty nice. Let's play around with the fractal noise as well. No, not the fractal noise, but the turbulent displacement as well. So maybe I'll just increase the amount a bit. Maybe decrease it or increase it a bit. Let's bring this down the borders a bit. Okay, just scale this down a bit. Just to create a difference in both of the textures. And then basically what we can do is just duplicate this up. Duplicate the text. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. And bring down the effects to on the top of the text or below the text. And let's change, change the effects to track mat to alpha mat as well. So now we have something like that. I'm going to place it somewhere around there. So now we have something like this looking really, really cool. Then let's pretty quickly, I'm going to duplicate the effects too as well. So hit control D. So it's going to create an effects three. Let's pop it up. And now what I can do is we don't need the painted texture. So I'm going to set this to none and turn on the fractal noise. Basically and delete the painted texture and also the color. We don't need it. We need the white texture just like that and then what I can do is just duplicate the text again hit control D to duplicate it make sure we can see it and let's bring up the effects 3 below the text and change this to a format so now we have something like that maybe I'll displace them a bit with 10 frames so let's see what we have maybe a bit more now we have something like that as you can see, the text getting revealed after the grunge animation. And now what we can do is go into effect 3 and add a texture actually. I'm going to add the abstract texture right over here. I scale this down a bit somewhere around there. And change this to alpha matte. Now we have a really nice texture, metallic looking texture for our text as you can see. Looking really, really cool. But the one issue that we face is this kind of anti-aliasing issue as you can see at the edges of the text so to fix this what we can do is select the red and the blue texture let's select four of these and pre-comp it you can call it anything that you want I'm gonna call it grunge animation and add a pretty quick simple choker maybe around one and there we go almost got rid of those kind of a grungy looking edges so maybe I'll go to 1.2 okay that is looking really nice let's see what we have so as you can see looking really really nice let's add some curves to this so let's do a pretty quick CC and add a curves adjustment let's bring down the highlights a bit something like that and on the effects I'm gonna add a curves as well making it a bit darker something like that and then add a drop shadow as well so let's add some drop shadow to this just to create a bit more details as you can see right over here without drop shadow and with the drop shadow looks really good let's set this to around 20% and increase the softness to 5 as well really nice and subtle depth to the scene if you can see let's place it somewhere around there you can see it adds a little bit more depth in our scene you can also add the drop shadow to the blue and the red grunge as well and let's pretty quickly add a vignette as well so let's create a new adjustment layer let's rename this to win for vignette and add a curves adjustment and bring this down 
just like that and select the ellipse tool just double click on it and invert the mask and feather this up really simple and quick way to create a really nice looking vignette as you can see and play around a little bit with the shape just like that let's bring down the opacity or maybe I'll just tweak the curve as well I don't want to be I don't want it to be so much intense okay pretty sweet and I guess we are done so pretty quickly I'm gonna add a little bit of small animation to the scene as well so to do that what we can do is create a new null object okay and select all the textures and just parent this so let's add a parent option and parent this to the null and just animate the scaling of the null the scaling property of the null somewhere around four seconds maybe I'll bring this up to one one ten so we have a little bit of zooming animation as well so as you can see it is really simple and easy and we don't need any plugin to create this really cool effect so that's a wrap for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much for watching guys.